I didn't even have to call. They're coming in because it's so cold before the storm arrives. No calling necessary. It's so bitterly cold. darkening as the winds arrive with the uh, with the sleety weather so they're down there now so no lambing the storm as the storm approaches yet got some taut udders there the horses galloped in because they said yeah we'll come in now it's too the storm is coming and so they have lovely straw bedding and loads of hay and you'll be lovely and dry won't you grasshopper so i filled my mobile hay rack even though there's a hay bale just over the hill but it'll be very very cold up there with the wind biting in so I brought the sheep. The sheep will come down here and eat off of the mobile hay rack and they can shelter under there. He's having a lovely sheep shit snack or they can go up the orchard laneway which has lots of warm walls to lean protectively against the uh, sleet and snow that's going to be arriving in the coming hours. Those are the two new hoggets in the foreground at the feed trough. They think they're getting another breakfast. But you can see most of the hoggets, they're using the uh, hay rack as a windbreak. So they're on the hedge side eating over there. And it's lovely, cozy. There's the great white yolk. See, they're all using this side because it's like windbreak, eating on the windbreak side. Those two are still on their own. Oh. Poor big fella. He's an old man. He's getting herded by sheep. Hey girls, aren't you a lovely pair of ladies? Look at her, she's very goodly. She's lying between the weather and her lambs. So she's got one lamb tucked in against the wall and she's blocking the wind from it. Anyway, it's a little bit mucky underfoot, but I'm going to add more straw and I'm refilling the hay racks as the wind picks up out here. So they're well out of the wind. It's actually really, really cozy. Ah, and look who's here. Yes, you're visiting and you're bold. You're not to bark at sheep. So very cozy in up against the wall, as you can see. There's no wind under here and very well sheltered. So I'm gonna toss out some more straw and fill up those empty hay racks. So there's plenty of food and they have water. Uh, excuse me, that's bold. That's bold. My niece was told that French bulldogs don't bark. I'm here to say they do. Yes, you're a bold barky dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got to get to work. Oh, this is um, some um, alfalfa for them to eat, as well as the hay. So they've got some lovely rich stuff as well as the fibrous hay. But she's not having a problem with it. Munch, munch, munch. Oh, look, she's getting up. Oh, because of all her lambs are out now. They've all stood up. Because of doggies.
barking. The wolf woofs. Looking for milky poos. Headbutting those that are not yours. Just a bit and her floppy ears. So everybody's got hay, fresh bedding, straw. The winds are howling higher and colder. But all the lambs are going to be lovely and cozy. Walking in your parents' food bin. So they've got loads of hay and cozy straw. And Inca wants to get in there and join them. Not to be cozy, but just for the milky poos. She loves her milky poos. So there we go. Even though this is beautiful and cozy. And then uh, there's Oscar. <laughs> Maya, you're running rings around little Oscar. <laughs> Okay, you're ruining the game. Let them have fun. <laughs> oh, you killed him, did you, Maya? You killed him. You killed him. Oh, you killed him. Oh, my Inca. <laughs> oh, Inca, leave them be. Let them play. You, let them play. <laughs> 